Shalom, Aki. I'm this is Yabba Tazai here in San Angelo, Texas uh, G with GMS. He is higher servants. Want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yabba Shim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. Much love, respect to you brothers out there doing the work in sincerity and truth. I want to jump into a, a topic uh, regarding Samson, all right, which was a, he was a man of the Lord. And though he, uh, he uh, fell short, he still uh, died with honor, all right. And that, we're coming into some times where our faith is going to be tested. You know, the ultimate test is the RFID chip. And recently, uh, the elder uh, Gabar and elder Ariamla made a video saying, what would you do if your head was uh, in the, uh, the guillotine, you know, was you're about to be placed in the guillotine. Okay. And, and basically, this is what this video is about. Uh, the first scripture I want to bring out is in he, uh, Hebrews 11 and 32. And what shall I say more? And what shall I more say? For the time would fail me to, to tell of Gideon and of Barak and of Samson and Jephthah, of David also and Samuel and of the prophets, who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the, fire, the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword out of weakness and were made strong wags valent in truth turned to flight the armies of the aliens women received their dead raised to life again and others were tortured not accepting deliverance that they might obtain a better resurrection and others had their trial of cruel mockings and scourgings yea moreover of bonds and imprisonment con and all these things are going to come man all right, there's 144,000 men that are on the highways and the head just pushing this word. And then you got the one-third, the, the, the elect, that consists of men, uh, women and children. All right. Uh, there's going to be martyrs, as we know in the scriptures. All right. There's going to be the beheadings of some uh, and, 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 and put through, as I read right here, uh, in Hebrews 11, 32 to 36, we're going to be going through these different things, man. All right. But uh, what I want to... Uh, point as with samson though he right here in verse 34 it says quench the, the violence of fire escape the edge of the sword out of weakness were made strong right because out of he was in a weak state right before he was about to be made a, a mockery but yet he prayed to yahweh by shim yahweh shai for that little bit of strength to destroy his enemies okay and and basically what he did he was like he self-detonated himself and took out those 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 wicked ass uh, heathens, you know, and we got we got to have that type of mentality. Lord will to we have to have that zeal, man, that 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 fearless spirit as Samson, okay, uh, basically, and and like it says in verse thirty five, uh. Women received their dead, raised to life again, and others were tortured, not accepting deliverance, but they, that they might obtain a better resurrection, right? And that's what we want. We want to obtain a better resurrection, so we'd rather go out fighting, you know, than, than to uh, subdue to our enemies, to, to uh, surrender, okay? Uh, well, I want to go into right there where, uh, to the story where I want to jump off with Samson, you know, because you know he he was a judge and he was he was at war, and uh, giving hell to this those heathens the Philistines, all right the Philistines, and uh, basically he was dealing with some 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 females some harlots, and she found a way to, you know get into uh, Samson's head and, and release, inf uh, sensitive information was his his secret to his strength, and. Uh, and he, he spilt the beans, man, you know, and, and, and she ended up betraying him. And uh, the enemy that he was at war with took him in. All right. And uh, also, you know, when we're coming into these times, man, we can't trust nobody. You know, we, the only one we can really basically trust is Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. And if the Lord will, you have brothers with you, you know. Uh, right. So I'm going to go to Judges 16. I'll start at verse uh, 28. All right, just jumping right into where Samson is praying to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, and and this is uh, Judges 16 and 28. And Samson called unto the un, unto Yahweh Yahweh and said, "O 
O Yahweh, my power, remember me, I pray thee, and strengthen me. Because at this point, Samson was already at a weak state. They they gouged his eyes out. All right, he was a uh, he was stripped away of his strength. All right, but he still humbled himself, and and still had integrity, and knew that he was uh amongst the these heathens, and they were making a mockery of him, man, be, being disrespectful to him. You know, being disrespectful to 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 the to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And, and to this nation, man, they're made, making a mockery. Cause like the scriptures say, he that touches the the, uh, the Lord's people, basically touches the apple of his eye. All right, which is uh, roughly paraphrasing the scripture. I believe is in Zephaniah. Uh, I can bring it out. Uh, give me one second. But basically, that's that's what his mentality was, man. He was uh. He wasn't he wasn't having it. All right. Uh, Salaka, give me one second to find where it's at. This is Ze Zechariah chapter 2, verse 8. It says, And thus saith the Lord of hosts, After the glory hath he sent me unto the nations which spoiled you, for he that toucheth you toucheth the apple of his eye. For behold, I will, I, will sh I will shake my hand upon them, and they shall be a spoil to their servants, and ye shall know that the Lord of hosts hath sent me. Right, so they... Even you know that that's what uh, uh, Samson uh, 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 was basically doing, man. And through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, granting him that little bit of strength, which we know in the scripture, in the gospel it says that uh, he that have a, 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 a faith as small as a grain of a mustard seed can can move mountains. So yeah, uh, Samson still had that that faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. He didn't he didn't he didn't he didn't fold. You know, even though he 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 slipped, he still went out. You know, and it says, uh, and Samson called unto the unto Yahweh and said, uh, said and said, Oh Yahweh, my power, remember me, I pray thee, and strengthen me. I pray thee only this once, O Yahweh, that I may be at once avenged of the Philistines from my eyes. And Samson took hold of the two middle pillars upon which the house stood and on which he was borne up. Of the one with his right hand and of the other with his left and samson said let me die with the philistines and he bowed himself with all his might and the house fell upon the lords all right upon those those uh, nobles you know the, the 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 philistines which come from the uh the hamites canaanites all right which we know today is the, the, the africans all right and upon all the people that were therein so the dead which he slew at his death were more than they which he slew in his life, right? So he took out all them, 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 uh, them heathens, man, you know, and basically they were going to leave him, you know, whatever they had in their minds to, 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 basically they were torturing him, you know, giving him a slow death, making mockery a sport of him. All right. He brought down his enemies with himself, you know, and, 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 and when we come into these times, the Lord can work in mysterious ways. He's going to deliver his elect, man. But we know that there's gonna be martyrs and 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 those that touch his, his elect man, they try to put him to death. You don't know, man. He might just destroy that whole damn facility, that whole that whole concentration camp, that whole FEMA camp. You know. But uh, it says uh, right, and that that that's that's the point on that. But basically, Samson, you know, he had that. He still had that integrity, still had that strength, that faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, even though he slipped. And, 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 and like we know, the scriptures tells us not to let our, our sins weigh us down because we're, we all fall short of the glory of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. We, in, in all our righteousness, we're, we're still as filthy rags, man. We're unprofitable servants. We're nothing, you know. But we got to continue to uh, remember the, the uh, our, our forefathers, man. Were any ever confounded that trusted in the Lord? All right. Uh, one other scripture I want to bring out, and that's going to be the end of it, is in the book of Maccabees. And I'm just going to read it off right here from my sword that I have. It says, uh, Salah, give me one second. It says, uh, 1 Maccabees uh, chapter 2, uh, verse 50. It says, Now therefore, my sons, be, be ye zealous for the law, and give your lives for the covenant of your fathers. Call to remembrance what acts our fathers did in their time. So shall you receive great honor and, and an everlasting name.
right and that's what we're wanting man we want to know it's like in that scripture and uh was it second address it's chapter two where it says that the uh uh the multitude that were sealed the, the, those numbers that were to be sealed they received crowns and palms in their hands by Yahweh Shai because they stood so stiffly for the name. All right. It says that's that's that honor and everlasting name, man. And it, and it goes and it jumps down into different uh, examples of the forefathers going through, you know, standing, standing firm in Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shai. Their, their, their power, man, you know, their law, statutes, commandments, their, 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 their truth, their belief, you know, the wisdom, knowledge and understanding. But I'm gonna jump down verse 61, and thus consider ye throughout, and and thus consider ye throughout all ages, that none that put their trust in him shall be overcome. Okay, even if they do put us to death, they, they they're not gonna overcome Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the spirit. Because again, we, we're nothing. We're just vessels. Alright? But Yahweh Shai is always gonna reign supreme. Okay? Verse 62. Fear not. The words of a sinful man Because they're going to tell us things They're going to try to use our families They're going to be children uh, You know tempt us with different Different uh, tools to, to, to try to uh, lure us back into the world Or to uh, forsake our faith It's like when Yahweh Shai was tempted by the devil For 40 days 40 nights You know he, he used the scriptures Remember the scriptures Okay that's that's what our, that's what our Our fight it's, it's the spirit The spirit is what It gives us the The, the strength man It's like Samson He remembered Alright Verse 62 uh, 1 Maccabees chapter 2 Verse 62 Fear not them that Fear not then The words of a sinful man For his glory Shall be dung And worms Right He's like You know America's Edomite So called white man Their glory is going to be Turned into worms man They're going to fall down To a low estate Alright They're going to be brought down To the dust just like the uh, the virgin daughter of Babylon is gonna be brought down to to the dust, man. All right. It says, verse sixty three. Today he shall be lifted up, and tomorrow he shall not be found, because he is returned into his dust, and his and his thought is come to nothing. Wherefore, ye my sons, be valiant, valiant, and show yourselves men, in the behalf of the law, for by it shall ye obtain glory. And that glory is what? The kingdom, man. The crown that Yahweh Shai is going to place on us himself. All right? But it was just on my spirit. You know, I watched that video with the elder, elder uh, Gabar. And I watched another video of the brothers from uh, California, the GMS Ancient of Days. And they were speaking about something too as well. And it, and it was put on my spirit to bring this out. And thought about Samson going through what he went through. All right? But, uh... I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to y'all. Bashim Yahweh was shy, double honor to the elders of Great Millstone. And much love and respect to you brothers out there doing the work of sincerity and truth. All right. Uh, keep pushing, man. Keep fighting. Keep, keep these things in your mind, man. Prepare. You know, keep a watch, a watchful eye. You know what I'm saying? Because at any moment, these things can, these things can happen, man. All right. Especially, it, it's coming. we're coming into some times, man. We're seeing it throughout through all the media, different avenues of the media that's pushed off, that's pushed off on the internet. All right. So we're in the we're in the end of days, man. We're here, all right. It's just a matter of time. But I want to leave it with that and say shalom.